Hey guys, it's Adrian with BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, so today we are going to kind of go over in further detail some examples for Node Red. So I don't know if you saw my video last week on Node Red or a couple weeks ago, uh, but if you didn't, definitely check this out here. It will run through the setup for Node Red and how to get it integrated within Home Assistant and get everything working that way. Then you can come over to this video and check out Node Red. Uh, examples that I've done for automations within Home Assistant. So we'll do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So I have a couple of different examples here that I want to uh, run through. One of them is going to be turning off the lights in the morning and off at night. So basically it will uh, turn the light and then turning them off in a different part of the day. Once we do that, then we're going to look at doing a notification for when a door has opened or basically a binary sensor has triggered. And then for the third example, we're going to uh, basically set up a automation that will only at nighttime, basically from sunset to sunrise, will turn the lights on if a binary sensor is triggered. And then lastly, we are going to set up uh, an automation that will send a notification if a door has been left open for a certain amount of time. So let's get started. All right, so for the first example here, uh, like I said, this one's going to be to turn the lights on at a certain point of the day and then turn them off at a, a different part of the day. Uh, so basically, I have one labeled here, Sandy's Light. This is our pet uh, bearded dragon. Her lights come on in the morning and uh, go off at night. And so in order to make this work, you need to use a palette called uh, Big Timer. So as you can see here under palettes, if you do a search for Big Timer, uh, you will see that come up. That's the one you're going to want to install. Basically, we'll click on it here, and as you can see, it's got all kinds of options there. Uh, you can actually have multiple ons and multiple offs. And you can even schedule it for um, different uh, types of schedules as well, so multiple schedules. The main thing you're going to want to uh, look for whenever you're setting this up and the issue that I ran into when I first set it up is down at the bottom here it says repeat output. You're going to want to uncheck that. Uh, by default for some reason that was checked and of course that caused it to not work initially or not work correctly. So you want to make sure you have that one in there. And then from that we basically pipe it into a switch and basically uh, of course you'll have to set up uh, two outputs there, one for on and one for off. And then of course then that sends into a call service uh, which again one is for turning on the lights and the other one is of course for turning it off. That basically functions as you see here turns the lights on about six o'clock in the morning and then we'll turn them off again about uh, 9 30 at night. That's pretty much the way we have it set up for our bearded dragon and that works great. But obviously you can use that for other uh, places as well where you might want to have the lights come on and off at a certain time. It certainly works great for any of those. All right, so for this example, it's going to be sending a, a notification when a door or binary sensor has been triggered. This one's actually pretty simple to set up. There's not a whole lot to it, but of course you need to understand the JSON, uh, the way you can put in your uh, correct JSON information for your notification. Basically, when the binary sensor opens, uh, it goes into a trigger there. And in the trigger, I basically just send it uh, to a call service node, which will then, of course, use LAN announcer and notify me that a door has been opened. As you can see, you can set this up for your iOS notifications as well. Again, as long as you know the uh, proper JSON coding, you'll be good. Here's an even an option that I used my Alexa media player. So basically I notify my Echo Dots and they make the announcement. You can do that as well. Uh, and here is the code for that. And like I said, as long as you have your proper JSON, you're good to go. And I'll have all this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it. The other cool feature uh, that I didn't really talk about in the first video other than to install it was the companion integration for Home Assistant. Uh, so as you can see here with that companion integration that uh, basically uh, works alongside the uh, webhook palette here in Node-RED is that you can now expose uh, nodes to Home Assistant and they basically come in as switches. This gives you the ability to give it a name and then you can disable or enable this node 
uh, basically disabling the automation if you want, uh, which is great for me because uh, I like the ability to, in my office, I have a, a set of notifications that go off when doors open around the house. But if I'm not in my office, then I don't want those notifications to go off. Uh, so basically, uh, I want the ability to turn those on and off. And so having the uh, option to expose it to Home Assistant, set it up as a switch, makes it super cool to be able to uh, do that. All right, so just to kind of give you an idea of how the Node-RED Companion integration works with Home Assistant, uh, as you can see here on the top, I have uh, the side door notification, which is the top one there, and then I have it uh, exposed into Home Assistant. So down below here is the switch. And of course, if you uh, turn off that switch, then of course it disables that uh, flow there. And if you turn it back on, then it comes right back on. Pretty cool. And it's actually uh, pretty responsive. So as you can see, it's almost instantaneous. So I really like that. Let's go ahead and move on to that next example. All right, so uh, for this third example, we are going to look at uh, basically an automation that will only at nighttime turn my lights on and off when a door is open. So basically the way I have it set up is if a exterior door is open and it's uh, after sunset and before sunrise, I want the lights to automatically come on outside just to make it easy for people that are coming and going. Now you can probably use the big timer uh, for this, the one that we showed in the first example. I actually use the time range palette for this one. So uh, of course this is the one that I searched for here. Uh, again, if you don't like having a whole bunch of different palettes installed, then of course you can stick with the big timer and it will probably work. But basically, as you can see here, uh, here is my uh, back door notification. So, uh, so the contact on my back door uh, basically triggers. Uh, that's piped into a time range node. And the start time for that, of course, is sunset. And then the uh, stop time is sunrise. So basically from sunset to sunrise, and then, of course, that goes into a call service node which that will basically just turn the lights on. So pretty simple there. There's tons of other stuff you can do with that. Kind of gives you an example of something that you can do and automations that you can set up with Node-RED. All right, so uh, for this fourth example, this is uh, going to be sending a notification to me or to anything in Home Assistant if a door has been left open uh, for an extended amount of time. So basically uh, the binary contact uh, stays on for an extended amount of time. So we'll say 10 minutes, that's how I set mine up. It gets piped into a trigger. Uh, now for the trigger, initially I want it to send nothing. So as you can see up here at the top, I set send to nothing. And then I want it to wait for 10 minutes. And basically at that point, then it will uh, go over to a call service node, which will then notify me that the door has been left open for 10 minutes. Sometimes our doors will get closed all the way, uh, kids coming and going. So uh, I like to have this notification announced around the house just to remind people, hey, you left the doors open, go over there and close them. Um, you know, so you're not letting bugs in or whatever. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Again, these are just uh, examples of the way I have done automations. It doesn't necessarily mean that that is the correct way to do it. I'm sure there's multiple ways to set up these automations. So just take these as examples and hopefully we'll give you some ideas to set up your own automations and stuff in Node-RED for Home Assistant. So let's do a quick uh, run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we went over our first example, which is to turn off the lights in the morning and again at night, basically just turning it on at one point of the day and then turning it off again uh, at a different point. Uh, for the second example, we went through and uh, set up a uh, notification uh, that would go off whenever the door was open. For the uh, third example, it was basically to turn the lights on when a door is open at nighttime. So there's a couple of different uh, parts to that one. And then for the fourth example, we just uh, did a uh, send notification when the door was left open for a certain amount of time. So several different examples there that we ran through. Uh, again, again, not the only way that is possible to set those notifications up and by no means the correct way to do it. Again, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Um, if you have some other examples or ideas or different ways that I can set up these automations, reach out to me in the comments or even via my email address and uh, let me know your ideas. And then maybe we can do a third part of this video and kind of and go through some other examples. We'll kind of see how that goes. 
I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, check out my page on Teespring, uh, which is my Burns Home Automation Merchandise Store, for all of your uh, BHA uh, merchandise. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.